when you're finding the magnitude in a three vector problem. You're going to be giving, given three vectors, in this case u, v, and w. And you're told that the figure shown has a zero vector. They give you the magnitude of one of them, in this case the magnitude of w is 55, and they want you to find the magnitude of u and the magnitude of v. And that, that looks like the absolute value, but that means magnitude when we're talking about vectors. Now, uh, vector has um, direction and size, and we represent the size by with the magnitude. Okay, so that's what magnitude is. It represents the size of the vector, and we use the length of the vector to kind of show its size. Okay, we're going to use the Alex graphing calculator also to calculate this. Okay, so when they're telling you that the sum of those vectors is zero, that means that if you add up each of the values, um, that it will end at the vector zero, zero here. So just a little quick reminder that u, vector u can be represented as u sub x and u sub y, so the ending coordinates of the vector. Oh, this was v, this one is u, and this one is w, okay? And same with v and w. So essentially what we're going to do then is if these vectors, when you add them together, give me 0, 0, then if you add up all the x-coordinates of the vectors, it will equal 0. And if I add up all the y-coordinates of the vectors, it will equal 0. So what we're going to do is we're going to substitute values in for this u sub x, v sub x, and w sub x, and come up with an equation. Okay. So we're going to do that by, let's take one of these values, let's say take vector u here. And I'm going to go ahead and draw a triangle up to the um, x-axis. So I make a right triangle here. And what I want you to remember is that the, um, this distance here is the magnitude. So I'm going to say the magnitude of u here. <clears throat> I'm going to use that to represent this value here. And then my, um, my u sub x value this distance from the zero to all the way over here to the end of my um, triangle here, to my right angle, I can represent as u sub x. And this value is u sub y. Okay, so we're going to use sine, cosine, and tangent to write some equations. I like to use SOHCAHTOA to help me to remember um, which equation, which trig value I'm going to use. Okay. So I'm looking at the angle 22, and by the way, u sub of x is, is going to be a negative, and in this case, we're going to need to put that um, here in our problem. Okay, so this is going to be negative. This value will also be negative. And so we're going to put a negative symbol in front of there, except for it's not staying on there. Okay. Um, now... Let's look at 22 and using u sub of x and the magnitude of u. We want to come up with an expression that has these things in it. And so if I'm looking at the angle 22, u sub x is adjacent, the magnitude of u is the hypotenuse. So adjacent, that's supposed to be an a right there, is cosine. So I can rewrite this as cosine of 22 degrees equals the adjacent side, which is a negative u sub x, over um, the hypotenuse, which I represent as the magnitude of u. Now what we're going to do from here is we're going to go ahead and we're going, we're going to solve this for u sub x. So one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides by the magnitude of u. And I'm going to get rid of that negative, that negative in front of um, the u sub of x by dividing both sides by a negative 1. Essentially what's going to happen is it's going to make this one positive and it'll move the negative over here. Okay, 
It's the same thing as multiplying both sides by a negative 1. It gives you the same value. So now I have an expression for u sub x. So I could rewrite this equation as a negative magnitude of u times the cosine of 22 degrees. Now I'm going to do the same thing to find v sub x and w sub x. And we do the same process, guess what, to find u sub y. So to find u sub y, u sub y is um, opposite of the angle 22. So, um, and I'm going to use the hypotenuse because I want to use the magnitude here. So that's going to be sine. So that's the sine of 22 degrees equals the um, opposite of u sub y over the magnitude of u. So I'm going to multiply both sides by the magnitude of u and multiply both sides by a negative 1 as well to get rid of the negative over here. So you get a negative uh, magnitude of u times the sine of 22 degrees. And that's going to give me u sub y. Okay, so that's going to be for this part of the equation. I'm going to so I'm not going to write that one in there yet. So I'm going to try to speed through the rest of these. Um, hopefully you're kind of seeing a pattern here. Um, so if I am using my for V, okay, both of these are going to be positives. Oops. So this will be u sub v, excuse me, v sub y here, and then this would be v sub x. So it's getting a little sloppy there, but the general idea here, it's going to turn out pretty much the same as this one, except for everything's going to be positive. So you're going to end up with um, v sub x being equal to the magnitude of v times the cosine of 70 degrees. And then the magnitude of, so v sub y will be the magnitude of v times the sine of 70 degrees. See the pattern here? Okay, so I'm going to use v sub x here, magnitude of v times the cosine of 70 degrees. Okay, so then we're just going to keep going here and we um, can see if we make a little triangle here. I'm going to set this up. Um, my W sub X is positive, but my W sub Y will be negative. And then my magnitude they gave me is 55. So when I go to um, plug those in, I'm going to have um, W sub X is going to equal to the magnitude, which is 55, times the cosine of 43 degrees. And that is going to be um, positive for that one. So plus 55 cosine of 43 degrees. You're going to do the same thing, um, and that's going to be equal to zero. Okay, got not very much room there. So basically what's going to happen here is we're going to, you're going to get two equations. So for this equation, I'm going to try to squeeze that in here for this um, equations with the um, y-coordinates of each of the vectors. So this would be, so for u, remember it was this value right here, a negative magnitude of u times the sine of 22 degrees plus, and then I've got this one, the magnitude of v times the sine of 70. And then this one, I didn't write that one down, w sub y. It's going to be a negative um, 55 sine of 43. And 
and so it's minus 55 sine of 43 degrees equals zero. So you've got these two equations. We're going to replace each of the um, magnitude of u and the magnitude of v. Those are our variables. And we're going to use our graphing calculator. And so what we're going to do is we're going to replace um, magnitude of u with x. So um, that's a negative x um, sine of 22 degrees plus y times the sine of 70 degrees minus 55 times the sine of 43 degrees equals 0. Now what you're going to do is you're going to solve this equation for y. So I'm going to put a box around the y just to keep us focused. So basically we're going to start off by um, getting rid of these two values. I'm going to underline those. So we get rid of those um, on this side of the equation by, if this is negative, we're going to add x sine of 22 and add a negative, add a positive 55 sine of 43 to both sides. So that gives you y times the sine of 70 degrees equals, so I add x sine of 22 to this side plus 55 sine of 43 degrees. Okay, so here um, we need to solve this for y. So I want to get y by itself. So you're basically going to divide both sides by sine of 70 degrees. So you get y equals x times the sine of 22 degrees plus 55 times the sine of 43 degrees all over the sine of 70 degrees. So we're going to take this and we're going to plug this into our graphing calculator along with, we need to do the same thing, so that was from this first equation with the sines. Now I need to do the same thing with the second equation with the cosines. Okay. So I've got a lot of colors there, sorry I should have been a little more thoughtful about some of those. but So I'm going to take this equation right here. And if we do the same thing, we replace, um, we're going to get a negative x cosine of 22 plus y times the cosine of 70 plus 55 times the cosine of 43. And that's equal to 0. Now what you're going to do is you're going to, again, solve this for y. So you're going to end up, I'm going to run out of room here, so I'm going to just kind of do this. You're going to end up with, um, you're going to add, add x cosine of 22 to both sides. You're going to end up subtracting 55 times the cosine of 43 to both sides. And then you're going to end up dividing everything by the cosine of 70. So kind of did that a little bit quicker. We're going to take both of these values and we're going to plug them into the graphing calculator in Alex.